I'm here in Medjugorje next to Apparition Hill and I'm with, what's your name? My name is Katharina. Katharina, where are you from? I'm originally from Villach, which is in the south of Austria, mm -hmm. but I live in Vienna at the moment. Vienna, yeah. And when did you hear the first time in your life about Medjugorje? Actually, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. And uh, I met you a couple of minutes ago mm -hmm. and also your lovely friend from Nazareth. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm doing this sort of testimony, it's actually a devotion to our lady. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that I'm very impressed with her saying yes. Mm -hmm. So I think she's the most impressive uh, human being on this planet, mm -hmm. thinking that Jesus uh, was truly man and truly God. Uh, she said yes, and I'm also always wondering if there's maybe a Josephine or a Vanessa mm -hmm. whom we have not heard about yet mm -hmm. because they never said yes. Mm -hmm. So we know Mary and um, yeah, the, the history unfolded because of her, because of her saying yes. And what I also think is really great about her is that she actually asked um, the Archangel Gabriel a question. Mm -hmm. so, so she was sort of settled and grounded mm -hmm. and she even asked him like, how is this gonna... Be possible. Yeah, how is this gonna be, be possible? How is gonna exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that's really great. Um, and what do, you, what do you want to tell about the devotion then or how? how? Well, I believe it's a, it's a matter of uh, saying yes, of believing, listening, and also a lot of room for silence. To let the Holy Spirit sink in and um, work in one's life. Yeah. And also a lot of discernment of figuring out what's important, what's not important. Maybe something is great, but it's not for you. It's not meant for you. And it's meant for somebody else. So that's about it. Oh, yeah. So to discern what is the will of God for you, actually. No? Exactly, you exactly. And I think life is um, great, but also short. Yeah. And so I believe that uh, the ability to discern mm -hmm. uh, with the help of the Holy Spirit is uh, a major gift. Mm -hmm. that how would you describe somebody who doesn't know this Holy Spirit and to discern? How, the, how is the process? Can you describe that? Well, I know that very well yeah. because there's a lot, lot of information coming towards uh, us every single day mm -hmm. um, via the media, via social media, uh, via our own thoughts, maybe somebody else's thoughts, whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, to know, uh, I think there is a saying that uh, discernment is not a matter of knowing what's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. by Charles Spurgeon, I believe it is, mm -hmm. but a matter of knowing what's right and almost right. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think that's a really big thing because knowing what's right or wrong, it's, you know, it's um, maybe after some, you know, it's okay to figure that out, but to know what's um, between what's right and almost right, so I think that's a gift mm -hmm. from the Holy Spirit. You know it in the heart then, you mean? How do you um, discern it? Uh, what is the effect? I think here you get a certain pull um, in in one direction, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. but it, it takes prayer, it takes maybe fasting, it takes grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Do you want to say anything else about Medjugorje, maybe? Why it's so special here? Mm. Well, actually, actually no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I think on your channel there are a lot of great testimonies on there that mm -hmm. people should watch and uh, I believe the life will tell. Mm -hmm. yeah. The people if they should come. Not yeah. Come, right? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that interview. Well, thank you very much for your work and I think it's really great and wonderful and uh, helps a lot of me. people and uh, I'm glad we, we met. Yeah, me so too. Have a great evening. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.